The case continues for Hernandez Govan, the man accused of setting up the hit to kill Adolph Thornton Jr., also known as Young Dolph. Govan is facing conspiracy charges in Dolph's death. And records show Govan allegedly hired co-defendants Justin Johnson and Cornelius Smith to kill the rapper. A trial date for Johnson and Smith is set for March of 2024. However, Judge Lee Coffey says he's not anticipating a trial for Govan anytime soon. Govan's attorney tells WREG they won't seek a resolution until after the co-defendant's trial. We're still in negotiation, and my client is looking forward to bringing this to an end. His attorney says they have not made any plans for Govan to testify against Smith or Johnson. That's in the hands of Mr. Hageman, and he would have to seriously negotiate with us. Govan was released on bond earlier this year. As a condition of posting bail, he was placed on house arrest, only allowed to leave his home for medical reasons or if he needed to meet his lawyer. During his last court appearance, Govan requested the terms of his bail be relaxed so he could leave his home freely and even get a job. However, Judge Lee Coffey denied the request and scolded Govan for violating the terms of his bail twice by traveling outside Shelby County. Judge Coffey told Govan the conditions were in place for his own safety, but this time, Judge Coffey commended Govan for following the rules. The last time I was you in court, I told you had some problems that needed to be corrected, and I told you they would not be tolerated. And Ms. Taylor tells me, Judge Coffey, you got his attention, and everything is fine now. Reporting from 201 Poplar, Kwame Trewilborn, WREG News Channel 3.